Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Before you do anything else, like, subscribe, and activate that little bell down there so you can get notified each time I upload a new video. So today we're doing a drawing tutorial of a cardinal. And why a cardinal is because I did a geometric painting very much inspired by what we're going to draw today. So I will link that at the end of the video so you can check that out. But first, before that, I'm going to show you how to draw the cardinal. So you'll need a pencil so you can erase. I will use a Sharpie. Actually, not a Sharpie. This is from Office Depot. Not sponsored by them, by the way. So the first thing that we're going to do is with the eye. I always like to start with the eye, and I'm going to do a very happy face. I feel like this is wobbly. After the happy face, you're going to add a frown to the top. And then the eye. The eye will be black. And then you're going to draw a horizontal line from the eye outward, not too long. From here, you're going to go down a little bit. And then in. Now we're creating the beak. And then down. Here you add the center line that divides the top beak from the bottom beak. And then you connect this line to the top. You bring this one down. And so it, it doesn't look so geometric. You can just curve this line up a little bit. I think that's better. Then you add another line here, but I connect to the eye. Add a little feathered line here. Extend this out, bring it down, out, and over. So this is the face. Bring this line out a little bit. That was easy. Remember, if I'm going too fast, just pause or slow me down. Or rewatch on here. <laughs> um, so then this is his belly, so you're just bringing a line, a curved line down. You go up here and then kind of spike this up. The next thing I'm going to go with is his, his claws or his feet or whatever. What do you call him on a bird? And you're going to add three. So, one. I like to do the top part and then go down. So, then the top part of this one and then down. The top part of this one and then down. So, now you just bring them in. This one into here, into here, and then all the way through. Make sure they connect. Mine don't really connect. <laughs> And the same thing on the other side. One, two, and three. And then bring them up. So now the claw, <laughs> the branch is gonna be here. Cause he's sitting on a branch and then bring this out. So there's a bottom part to the branch. And then extend this out. You can extend it out as far as you want. You can take some creative liberty here, add as many or as few branches as you'd like. I'm gonna bring this up. Bring it down. So the best way to make branches is to add a V. So there's my V, and then you just 
follow on the other side. Let's say I wanted one over here, you add a D. Extend this out. Or if I wanted another one here, add another V. It's okay if they're crooked because most branches are not perfectly straight. And then this one as well. So keep adding all the branches you want. I'm going to add another one down here. Once you have the branches set, then you continue with the bird. So I'm going to bring this one from the bottom part of his little head down, but curve it a little bit because this is his uh, wing. And then obviously it's going to go down behind the branch and then it stops. Same on the other side and just make sure you connect it. And then here you can add little feather marks. You can get as realistic or as abstract as you'd like. And then the other one is kind of behind. So it would, you just see part of it. Or you cannot put it, it's up to you. And then you can just add more little And then come down here and do almost like a V, but as little V's everywhere. And then his long tail goes all the way down. So this was very simple drawing this cardinal. So I will leave you the video to the painting I did uh, a geometric cardinal very similar to this make sure you watch it and please subscribe share watch all the other content in my channel and until the next drawing tutorial adios and bye